In this video, I will demonstrate how to insert electrical components in a model, such as switches, sockets, detectors, sensors, and so on. And for a proper symbol representation in a floor plan, I will present the function arrange as combination. Okay, so I will start by inserting a switch. I'll come to the switch product database and I'll insert this flush mounted switch. So I'll click OK. And I will click OK here. Since I already have a junction box, I can get closer to the junction box and it will be connected. Okay, so it identifies the the coordinates such as the height of the junction box even if the height of the switch uh, could be different from the junction box but when connected it would be in the same height of the junction box okay so connected now i will press escape and i will insert a socket the same so click ok and i will move here and it already recognizes the, the junction box that I have at 0.3 meters. So I'll click and it's connected. Okay, now I'll press escape to close the function. So let's set as it is for the moment. Next, let's insert a fire and security product. Uh, in this case, I will insert a smoke detector optical. I'll click OK. As we can see, it has the reference, the reference as ceiling without a distance. So click OK. And I already have a, a junction box in the ceiling as well. And it will be connected at the same height of the, of the junction box. OK. And at last, I want to insert other type of components, such as from the product database telephone and data. I'll insert, I'll insert some data socket CAT7 RJ45. Okay, so I'll click OK. I will click OK and I'll insert uh, in this wall here. So one component, two components, three components, press escape, and at last a TV and a radio component with, will be an antenna socket. Close to these three data sockets okay yeah so as we can see the representation in 2d is not that good we see that we have overlapping symbols everywhere okay but before we fix this let's see the result in 3d so here we have the correct representation at least in 3d for the switch and socket at the other side of the room we see here the, the data sockets and the, the antenna socket in different mounting heights. Let's come back to 2D. First of all, let's uh, have a better or proper representation of the symbols um, of the switch and socket. I will select these two objects and I will right mouse click to select the option Arrange as Combination. As you can see, you, we already seen a background that the socket is over the, the, the switch symbol. We, we see that DDS CAD inserted by default a, an offset or a vertical offset by selecting the, the, from the lower to the upper object. We can switch this. So in this case, now we, we see the lower object on the bottom and the upper object in the top, okay? We also have the possibility to change the 2D symbol and 3D objects offset. So we see a default 20 millimeters offset. We could set like um, 30 or just to see difference 50, okay? It could be also be applied for the 3D objects, which is not the case right now. So I'll click OK to see the result. We see a CL line here indicating the, the connection uh, uh, to, to the junction box. But uh, if we, we don't want to have this representation, we can select the objects. And then I will use the hotkey, Alt key to access the properties. 
and we come to the tab connected and we deactivate the option draw cable to 2D offset. Now we don't have this line anymore. Okay. Now let's see the representation for these data and TV uh, sockets. I will also select these four objects and right mouse click to select the option arrange as combination. Now, as you can see, DDSCAD applied a, an offset, uh, a horizontal uh, offset instead of vertical by default, but we still have overlapping symbols. So we can increase, in this case, the distance much higher, like 200 millimeters. Okay? Is that good? And I will, we can also insert an offset for the 3D objects, like 15 millimeters. Okay. Now let's see the result of this arrangement combination in these two cases. 3D. Okay, so we, we, we can remember that the TV socket was in a different mounting height from the data sockets. Now they are aligned in the same height. Okay. And we have an offset of 15 millimeters here. If we go to the other side, the switch and socket maintain the same height, okay? So it's pretty good. Now let's go back to 2D. What else I would like to show you is the insertion of movement and sensor components. The first one I want to show you, uh, it's part of the presence detectors. It's the ceiling mounted presence detector, uh, approximately a range of diameter 8 meters. I will click OK and I will move this to be in the center of this corridor. We can also make use of the Shift X hotkey and then I go to the other side of the room and it will be centered. And this is the representation uh, of the range. Of, uh, of the detector. Other type of detector we can insert, I will repeat the movement sensor, is from security system. It's a motion detector for security systems while mounted. I will click OK to insert on the model and we also see the, the distance, uh, the mounting height of 2.5 meters. I will set as it is and click OK. Now I will make use of the function automatic rotation so I press and hold control over this line and it will be rotated but I want to insert at the other side of the room so I will rotate again using the hotkey pressing shift control and left mouse click to rotate 180 degrees and I will insert at this corner here okay so we see the representation does not uh, trespass the, the room. The same occur for the, this presence detector. Let's see the result and also how it looks in 3D. So we can, we can have this type of representation. Again, it does not trespass the, the rooms it, it belongs. So it shows uh, a sh the shading of where the, the, the range of, of these detectors. If we go to a render ray trace and advance it, it also makes this nice simulation. Okay? But for other type of render modes like render hidden lines or display wireframe mode, this is not a quite good representation. So we can switch in the view, in the menu view, we can deactivate the advanced representation. So it's uh, the, the representation now it's attached in in the in the floor okay